my mood has not changed at all and my clothes don't match. This is my fourth costume change today. That's funny. We've been doing this for an hour and 45 minutes. I know. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Today, we are going to be changing our looks based on our moods. Mood rings are sort of a childhood relic. For anyone that grew up in the 90s to the early 2000s, they look like this, and you wear them, and they're these huge stones, and they're supposed to change color based on what your mood is. I thought that it would be really fun to give us an opportunity to experiment with makeup again. Just the pop of color in mood rings lends itself pretty easily to changing up a makeup look, to changing up an outfit look, mm -hmm. perhaps. So you're gonna have to take off your beautiful cocktail dress. Maybe, well look, Jen told us to wear white, <laughs> and this is the only white thing I have on me. I think I experienced about 17.5 emotions in a span of 45 seconds, so this is gonna be quite an Olympic activity for me. The rings come with these little guides that have the colors corresponding with the feelings. Fortunately for me, the colors that I don't own very much of are also the feelings I don't have very often. Oh, well that works out. Yeah, I'm not really very peaceful or relaxed. <laughs> we're gonna put them on, see what happens, like kind of see what color pops up. After that, we're just gonna make our look match. Let's do it. All right, so let's pop these bad boys on. Ready? Yep. Beep. When I look at it straight on, it's this weird pinky green color. Mine is straight up pink. So our rings are different colors currently. But it seems like they're getting closer together in color. They are getting the closer. The closer our bodies get together. Okay, maybe we should not <laughs> touch bodies then. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start to figure out what our looks are gonna be. I'm gonna kind of do a hodgepodge of blue and purple, and then you're gonna do sort of a hodgepodge of black and blue. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little black and blue situation. Very Backstreet Boys, circa 2000. <laughs> I don't think green and teal is something that totally suits me, but we're gonna try. This is definitely a color I wear often. I think jewel tones are like a musical theater major's best friend. I feel very comfortable with this color, just not on my face. So we'll let's see. do it. <laughs> we'll see. So my mood ring keeps changing. It was pink and purple. Now it's bluish purple. And I'm just going to try to keep up with the changes as we go. So this can sort of be the base for my lip. I might have to make it a little bit more pigmented and supplement it with some other colors. But I think I can turn this into a teal. All right, so right now it's purple. I'm going to go with this purple. Lipstick. I'm gonna do this blue lipstick because it also feels a little black, kind of. It's like sort of a blue black. I'm gonna do the kind of like ombre lip thing. And by doing it, I mean I'm going to attempt it because I've never done it before. You know, I don't know if this is my color. Smoochy, smoochy. I look like a fish. Rainbow fish. Oh yeah, I do look like rainbow fish. I look like rainbow fish. Yeah, this is not a color that I generally would wear, but it is a color that I'm wearing now. It's a mood. I love it when people are like, I don't like to poop in public places. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's the best thing ever, because you just leave it there and you don't have to sell your house. I don't mind doing it in public, but the reason I like doing it at my house is just because I just really enjoy having a clean ass. It's good, it's a good feeling to have a clean asshole. Mm -hmm. So we don't have eyeshadow brushes right now, so we're kind of winging it. <laughs> Kind of matches, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. As we're doing our makeup, mm -hmm. I have moved from feeling relaxed and I've moved more towards a deeper blue, which means happy. And I'm just gonna do a darker blue shadow to complement the happy. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, we're gonna look so good. Oh my God. I think you look lovely. Oh. I like this, I really like this lip. I think I also like just the contrast between your dress and the lip. Like it's oh, like, really? yeah, it's like pow pow. I'm like a vampire, but I also shop at Hot Topic. <laughs> yes. I think my look is pretty true to like my mood ring. Wow, you did that whole thing and I did a lip in that time. <laughs> I already did a little bit of eyeshadow earlier because I cheated. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of a black eyeshadow now. Wow, so this was actually pretty easy. We did it. Devin and I have completed our looks. Mm -hmm. I'm rocking a teal lip to represent teal relaxed mood. And then I also have a dark blue shadow to represent the happy mood that I'm showing. You did teal shadow mm -hmm. and then dark blue lip. All right, so we finished our facial looks. We've done our makeup, we've done our lip, our eyes, and now we're gonna go change our clothes and unveil our final looks. Let's do it. Let's do it before this gets all over my face. <laughs> we literally just put on new shirts and now they're changing. 
Yeah, my mood ring is slowly turning to pink, which means romantic, and that's Same. LOL. But apparently I'm feeling romantic, so I'm gonna have to switch up this look pretty soon. It's definitely because of our body temp temperatures changing. Yeah, well, I guess we, we solved that mystery. <laughs> well, video over. So according to the chart, my mood is purplish pink and blue. So I kind of have a purplish pinkish bluish look with my makeup, and then I added a royal blue beret. And then this chambray light blue button up shirt. You look like the painter like roommate in like a 90s movie. I love that. <laughs> My ring is still blue and black, which means I am both happy yet very stressed. <laughs> so I am wearing the black tank top and this little denim braided strap overall skirt. Ooh. So basically I dress like I'm in middle school. I'm wearing a blue shirt to match my happy and relaxed mood colors. Yeah, I mean, if this is a pretty standard shirt in my wardrobe rotation. It's a blue polka dotted shirt. I usually don't pair it with these jeans, but here we are. Okay, so we are just going to go about our days and keep a close eye on our mood rings because we have a lot to do today and I'm sure our moods will change. I'm heading to a meeting right now. Better carbo load. Yeah. So I just had literally a, a, a 30 second conversation as I walked out of the shooting space and my ring is already turned back to pink. It's like full on pink. So, gotta go back to the shooting space and change again. No, it's, now it's purple. Now it's pink. So I'm gonna go with that, which means super romantic. And I'm gonna wear a pink shirt and change my makeup. So I'm already pink and purple. I'm gonna change my whole situation. Because you're feeling romantic. And excited. All right, just finished my pink and black look. Gonna go show the ladies. Okay, so it was green literally 15 seconds ago. Now what color is it? It's turning black again. Wait, it, oh yeah. Oh my God, the black is coming from below up. Yeah. That's very it's, ominous. It's quite frightening. Yeah, yeah, you know why I'm stressed? Because I keep having to change everything. I'm, I'm just it. purple, which what, what is purple anyway? My mood is purple. It's like excited. It's like navy blue is purple. Navy purple blue. is like maybe horny, but probably just excited. I'm yeah. aroused. <laughs> My mood is don't want to change my clothes for the fifth time. Mm, what color is that? <laughs> That's our purple girl. Aroused and in charge. So I literally just got out of the bathroom changing into my pink shirt to go with my pink mood, which is romantic. And while I was changing, it became blue again. I literally have to go back into the outfit I just changed out of. It was a pink lady. I'm a pink lady. But as soon as I walked out of the bathroom to sit down and answer some emails, Change back to blue. <laughs> I'm also blue right now. Oh wait, no I'm not. <laughs> Why isn't there a mood color for angry? I don't feel like walking to the bathroom, so I'm gonna change under here. <laughs> Freddie! I really just like, oh, Freddie's not here. <laughs> just, it's just the back and forth to the bathroom is too much. I don't know why it keeps giving me romantic, but I do not feel romantic at all. It's because you love me! Ah! Because meeting. And I'm back to pink and green and black again. I don't want to play this game anymore. Uh, so I tried that meeting. It went fine, but a lot of stuff got discussed that kind of got my blood flowing. And appropriately, the mood ring has turned black. I put on my black coat, but I am going to change my shirt. And it looks like I have to do some type of dark lip now. So see if we can make that happen. Okay, so since I had to go back to the pink, green, black outfit, I figured I'd try a new lip this time. And hopefully, in the time it's taken me to put on the lip, I won't be back to a different color. I got one arm out of this shirt and it went back to this color. I'm exhausted. My um, mood hasn't really changed since it's, it's been purple, which is aroused. It's turning blue. What does blue mean? Is that bad? Wait, hold on. It's darkening. Am I making it's you darkening. sad? No, you're making me excited. So mm. blue is excited, but I've already been blue before. So can you make me yellow? Yellow is nervous. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to- That was I, your I, look <laughs> to make me nervous. Is it working? No, it's definitely still like blue. I'm gonna do a dark lip. Oh, I'm mysterious now because I have a black lip. And also not only do I have a black lip, but I have a black lip that has been poorly applied. So according to this ring, I'm feeling romantic and peaceful and also a little tint of stressed. Maybe because I've changed clothes like a hundred times. I changed into this black shirt to match my black makeup look and my black mood apparently. What do you think of my look, Annie? It looks like a goth. Do you goth like boy. it? Goth boy. Oh my gosh, spooky. Spooky. So I was just in all of these meetings where I couldn't leave to go change and my ring was blue. 
in the meetings. And now where I'm finally at a place where I can change, my ring is back to being purple. You're just really horny for kettle corn. This thing looked like it was gonna change to a different color and I was just like, you best be getting back to the color you were. It's been about an hour since I went from happy to stressed and I've been doing some prop runs. And yeah, the mood ring has again changed. You can't really tell, but it is now a bright yellow, which means that I am afraid. Maybe I'm afraid of bears, which I am. So the yellow on this ring means that this situation has to change and this situation has to change. Okay, so it officially just turned green, and so I'm gonna capitalize on this moment and go change. It's green now. Devin and I are both green right now. Devin, are you no longer aroused? No, I'm, I'm like the general stages of arousal. I've gone from a peak excitement to peak Peaceful. Peaceful. Uh-oh. Um, a nap after you do the D. Uh-huh. Or maybe a sandwich. I don't know. I normally wouldn't put on this color lip and like, I thought it was gonna look bad. And now that it's on, it's... I wouldn't mind having to put this on in about 45 minutes when I have to change my outfit twice again. I think it looks scary. I also didn't apply it well because I'm bad at makeup. Jen, I really, I, I love you, but you look crazy with that lipstick on. Yeah, I mean, I look like a duck. So I've actually managed to stay green for longer than I expected. I haven't done green eyeshadow because I was tired. I mean, and the lips are kind of more teal, but I think you get the picture. I'm green now, and I despise this lip gloss. I got myself all situated in this yellow so that, yeah, I'm matching my mood. And the best thing about this challenge is that you always look good. You think it's gonna be good, and then I reveal the lips, and then it's awful, and then it just looks like mold. I don't know if the ring actually corresponded to my moods, because it changed every 45 seconds. And maybe that's how quickly I changed my moods, but probably not. Oh my gosh, no! Okay, so I was walking back inside and taking some photos out there, and I was moving my arm, and the ring slipped off. So I have a broken mood ring now, which I think might mean that I'm done for the rest of the day. Hey, it is the day after our mood rings challenge, and I just gotta say, I am so grateful to be wearing one outfit. I would say a majority of the day, I was excited and romantic, which is interesting because I don't think I felt really excited all day, but maybe deep down, I do have some romantic things happening. Like, I hope that means that like I'm exuding desirable qualities. It was really fun when I like had to change my outfit a thousand times. See, like it's blue now, but the thing is, it's the second. I take off this jumpsuit, it will not be blue. So I'm not listening to the ring anymore. As much as I felt self-conscious wearing like a blue lip or wearing a yellow lip, like I actually got pretty nice things said to me. Like people took time out of their day to tell me that they thought I looked kind of badass, which I never would have expected that reaction. So it was weird and fun and kind of interesting to step outside my comfort zone and then kind of get complimented and rewarded for it, so that was really awesome. Not having to coordinate my outfits and my looks with my moods, it's, it's nice, it's, it's a lot less stressful. Although I will say I was surprised by how stable my mood was in comparison to the other girls, just because I thought that I was definitely the most emotional. But you know what? That doesn't seem to be true anymore. So you know what? That's what we learned. That's the biggest takeaway. Jen's mood ring challenge. Lady tested. Lady all the colorful feels. The ring and I are fucking finished. You're going into trash with all my feelings.